After Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they and their posterity, which includes all of us living today, were separated from the presence of God. But God has not left us without a means of communicating with Him. We can receive His guidance and comfort through the feelings and impressions that come from the Holy Ghost. In addition, we can communicate with God through prayer. After Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they continued to speak to God through prayer. Prayer can help us grow closer to God and develop a personal relationship with Him more than anything else. Prayer is a sincere, heartfelt talk with our Heavenly Father. As we pray, we should tell Him what we really feel in our hearts. During prayer, we can express gratitude, ask Him questions, or share with Him our concerns and frustrations and confide in Him. We can ask for blessings upon ourselves and upon those whom we love and care about. If we have sinned, we can ask for forgiveness. We may ask for strength to resist temptation. We can ask for strength to endure whatever experiences we may face in this life. We should pray to God and to no one else. We should not pray to any other person, image, or object. We should avoid scripted or memorized prayers so that we can speak what is truly in our hearts. During his earthly ministry, Jesus Christ taught that we should pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. We can pray to Heavenly Father at any time, either silently or out loud. Sometimes we need to be alone where we can pour out our souls to God in prayer. We can pray no matter what we may be doing and can always pray silently in our hearts. We can also keep God in our thoughts at all times. When we are feeling discouraged or upset, we should make a special effort to pray. We should each pray privately, at least every night and every morning. We should also pray together with our families so that they may be blessed. Prayer will strengthen our families and build unity in the home. We also have the special privilege of praying to give thanks and ask for a blessing on the food before each meal. Our sincere prayers are always answered. Sometimes the answer may be no, because what we have asked for would not be best for us. Sometimes the answer is yes, and we have a warm, comfortable feeling about what we should do. Our prayers are answered at a time and in a way that the Lord knows will help us the most. Sometimes the Lord answers our prayers through other people. These people may be inspired to perform acts that will answer our prayers. Often, God gives us the power to help answer our own prayers. As we pray for help, we should do all that we can to bring about the things we desire. As we pray to our Heavenly Father, we will develop a personal relationship with Him and know Him more fully through our communication with Him.